Sawyer, go feed the monkeys. Go feed the monkeys. <laughs> go over there. Go over there and they'll stand on you. Go over. No. <laughs> hey guys, uh, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. Um, bonjour, Brebebet, Guten Tag, Ola, Ciao, Konnichiwa to my foreign friends. And uh, we're going to be talking about uh, five knives today and why I bought them. It's going to be a quick video. I don't really review these knives. All I'm going to do is show you the knife and tell you why I bought it. And um, so let's get to it. This is a um, beautiful, beautiful knife. It's a serpentine uh, medium. Well, let's see, serpentine um, whittler. And uh, it's uh, made by New York Knife Company. Um, so you can see the main blade there. Really nice knife. And you can see the two smaller blades right there. Uh, one of these smaller blades is uh, cut off a little. But that's okay because this is just a gorgeous knife. I love this color combination. It is, uh, you can see the traditional Whittler design right there. And um, that's why I bought it. I was trying to uh, get some examples of New York Knife Company knives. For a long time, this knife was my uh, standard and that I would measure all other knives up to. So this is a really finely made knife right here. Um, next is this uh, Imperial and um, really cool colors there. This is an old Imperial knife. It has a burgundy and black kind of color scheme going on. Uh, well-made knife. Um, you know, typical um, imperial on the inside, but on the outside, um, this is a good looking knife. And it's a, a three blade um, equal end Stockman, um, would date before 1936, probably between 1925 and 1936. Really nice knife. There's a tank step right there. And um, that's why I bought this, because. Um, I didn't start collecting Imperials, but I, I got a lot of them in, like, lots. And after a while, I was like, well, I might as well collect a few more. And so I this is one of the ones I actually bought to have an early example of an Imperial. This knife here is a Colonial. It's an electrician's knife. And um, I don't know what's happened to this. You can see, I think... It has kind of like a swirl in there. Maybe it's supposed to be like tortoise shell. Maybe it has darkened with time. I don't really know. It is attractive though. And uh, these are really inexpensive knives. But you know this is also in really good shape. Really no wear off of the blade whatsoever. And um, I just bought it to have an example of a colonial. You know. Is why I bought this knife. Really good shape for a colonial. Um, this is a um, Parker Frost and uh, kind of some unusual green in there. I'm kind of thinking maybe that was from the pens and uh, oxidation kind of uh, got into the bone. I don't know, but really nice um, uh, stag scales on this knife it's a three blade canoe so that's really cool you see the parker frost in them these would have been produced between 1976 and 1978 and that's the reason why i bought this knife is that i started actually collecting parker knives and i uh, wanted to get uh, this specific time period of um uh, his early knife making career. Now this knife here, it's a pine knot. If you look real close, it says the coal miner. I believe that's probably an in the of Kentucky. I'm not sure, but um, this is not the pine knot that uh, that um, 
Belknap uh, hardware use. This is, uh, I don't even know how Colonial used this legally uh, because that's a registered trademark of Belknap hardware. Maybe they purchased rights to it. I don't know. I think they just put it on their knives. But this is a large, uh, a large stock, man, and it's just horrendous. Look at the, uh, nothing really matches on here. Look at that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but anyhow, I, Colonial produced this knife, is who produced it, with that pine on emblem. And, um, I don't know why I bought this knife, really. I regret it. It's one of the ones I regret. Look at this. It's got a number on it, 527. Like it's uh, something special. It's really a crappy knife. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, if you'd like to see more content like this, um, go ahead and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching.